and welcome to Flo's Crafty Crochet YouTube channel. Today we are looking at how to make a primrose. So what I've done is I've just grabbed a couple of balls of scrap yarn. I have chosen to do yellow and uh, I think it's lobelia, the colour of this. You can choose whatever colour you want in order to create your flower. So to get started we need a 4mm hook, a pair of scissors and a little tapestry needle if you have it. Okay, so I'm going to start with the yellow. And I'm just going to find the end here. Okay, over and pull through to make your slip knot as normal. And then I need to just chain four. So yarn over, pull through four times. Two, three, four. Can you place a slip stitch where the knot is? So just put that onto your hook like so, turn it around and pull through. And that creates a circle or a hole in which we're going to place all our stitches for the first part of the flower. So now what you need to do is you now need to chain three, two, three. Make a treble crochet into that hole, like so. Do three chain, one, two, three, and then put a double crochet down into this hole. So double crochet is just putting straight in, pull through, yarn over and taking everything off the hook. So that forms one petal. So what we need to do is we need to create five petals. So now you chain three, one, two, three, do a treble, yarn over into the hole, pull through, yarn over, take off two, yarn over, take off two, chain three, one, two, three, and then double crochet back into the hole. There's our second petal now made. So just scoot it up a wee bit so that it becomes a wee bit um, closer together, giving you plenty of room to work. So now we're going to repeat that again, one, two, three, put your treble stitch into the hole, do another chain three and your double crochet into the hole. One more time, chain three, treble into the hole, chain three, double crochet into the hole. So now we have four little uh, petals. So we're going to scoot that up one more little bit. We're going to chain three, we're going to do a treble crochet, we're going to do another chain three and one more double crochet working back down. Okay, then we're going to slip stitch it to the first one, pull through and we're going to just snip that yarn because that's the first part of our petal finished off. Just pull that nice and tight and you will see that you have five little petals or five little petal shapes by this stage. That centre hole, if you want it to close, turn it round to the back and just pull. So just gently pull on it and that should tighten it up and then what I like to do is just to secure that by working through the back loops of some of the stitches that are there and all I'm going to do is do a chain one. So that tightens that up. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our blue or our lobelia and we're going to join it with a, a slip stitch into the first chain three from, the, from this yellow row. So this is your first chain three stitch. So it says um, to only work in the back loops. So we're literally only going to work in this loop here, not the loop in the front and not taking two onto the hook. We're only looking for one. So we're going to be going in there. We're going to take some of the lobelia and again, we always begin with a slip knot. So there's our slip knot. We're going to put that in. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to chain two. One, two. Over the next three stitches you're going to do a treble. So yarn over into the next stitch, do a treble, one, into the next one, treble again. I'm just taking those ends out of my road. Two, and one more, makes three. Now that you have those three done, you need to chain two, chain two. And we're going to slip stitch down into that double crochet from the first row. So slip stitch down there. We're going to repeat that process again. So we're going to chain two. We're going to treble in the back loops only for three stitches. So in here we're going to go one, two, three. Then we're going to chain two and we're going to slip stitch it down into that double crochet. 
and we're going to chain two again. One, two, and again with our three trebles. One, two, three. And it's just trebles just go along the top of the stitches from the previous row. Then we chain two, slip stitch down and add double crochet from the previous row, chain two again, and then our three trebles. One, two, three, chain two, slip stitch, one, two, one, two, three, chain two, and slip stitch. This is going to be your final slip stitch. So slip stitching in there. And what I like to do is just to make this more uniform, I just pull my final slip stitch. So I actually do an extra one into the bottom of the original chain three. I snip my yarn, I snip it there. And there you have a very simple little primrose. Okay, so what you obviously need to do then is you need to take your little um, hook. I, I love the Knit Pro ones because I love the little cat gut. Uh, end on them because it means any any shape of yarn or any size of yarn will actually fit in so all you're going to do you can either leave these le ends really long and then you can use them to sew in your applique it's an, entirely up to you um, I always use the rule of three if you watch any of my other videos it's um, the rule of three where you weave it in three times and then hopefully that means that it won't come unstuck again the majority of time these are going to be sewn onto something else so they will have a little protective layer anyway. And then the same with this side, so we'll take these and just finish them off. So these are lovely and they can be done in like a range of different colours. You don't have to stick with whatever colours um, you see outside in nature. You can do them in any colour at all. Just whatever suits and whatever is ideal for your colour scheme, we're just going to do this last one now, two and one more, just a little quick one in there, oh, and then that's us, we're just going to snip all those ends as close as we can, leaving it nice and tidy, and there you have our little primrose to finish off, so something to brighten up any day. Thank you for watching this video from Froze Crafty Crochet. If you'd hit like and subscribe, I'd very much appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye.